John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Uh, today we're doing an episode of uh, 3D printing. Uh, this is where I just kind of go out and find some 3D models that I find personally interesting, uh, maybe from designers that aren't um, you know, that well known, and kind of highlight their stuff and uh, review their product and kind of show you what I've done. So. This time, I was looking at some models from uh, Miniature Martin, and I found them on my um, myminifactory.com, which is a place where you can get STL files. Now, I like um, one of my favorite pop, pop culture uh, properties is Space Battleship Yamato, or if you're similar to my age, you may have remembered this as the after-school cartoon Star Blazers. Uh, which starred the uh, space battleship Yamato. And they had a uh, reboot, uh, Yamato 2199, now probably about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit less than that, um, which retold that story from that anime. Um, and it's fantastic. I love the ships. Um, I have the Star Blazers fleet battle manual. I played that. I have the miniatures. I collect space battleship uh, Yamato models, um, and I just love them. So I was always on the lookout for uh, 3D models, STLs, of those ships. And I haven't really found those yet. Um, if anyone knows, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But uh, Miniature Martin, his designs are obviously based on um, Space Battleship Yamato. But they are his own unique custom designs, but you can tell the influence and kind of the love that's there for the, the property. Now, this isn't sponsored by Miniature Martin. I um, went on and I purchased these STLs myself. And uh, um, so, you know, as we review and talk over the, the process, I'm going to give you my, my uh, you know, honest opinion on, on everything like I always do. Miniature Martin was also uh, very kind enough to share a discount code. So if you do indeed like what you see here, um, you can head over to uh, my mini factory and use the discount code. You'll find that down in the, the video description below. Anyway, um, so I started out by just purchasing two. I purchased uh, right now his uh, catalog for these uh, models is pretty small, but I went online, searched, and I found um, you know, the two factions both have a carrier, so I thought I would start there by purchasing uh, carriers. So I purchased one uh, basically good guy carrier and one of uh, the bad guy carriers. Now in his narrative, in his universe, the bad guys are kind of reversed, it sounds like, but um, you know, for our purposes, we'll, we'll go with good guy, bad guy, uh, like Space Battleship Yamato. Um, so I went online, I downloaded those, he offers, both supported and unsupported versions of the um, of the model, and the models do come in multi-part kits. Um, as they're scaled, um, when you purchase them, they are oh I don't know about three or four inches in length, um, and they are um, you know really cool. So this is the. Amaterasu class fleet carrier and you can see the homage to space battleship Yamato with a wave motion gun like cannon in the front you know um, one of the things space battleship Yamato does is it's basically World War two and in outer space so you know the ships have clunky World War two style turrets and you see those there on the top uh, this particular model looks like it even has elevators, it has launch bays that are um, hollow, you can see under. Uh, so it's really, um, you know, really a cool anime space battleship aesthetic. Now as far as, I'm going to talk about this one first, uh, but both of the models have, uh, I had similar um, uh, experiences with. The I did have a few failures using the pre-supported models, and I tried a couple times, and it was always failing um, on some of the same parts. So I took the unsupported versions, and I supported them myself, and 
I, I didn't have any trouble. Now, I don't know if that's just my printer. My printer wasn't dialed in for the type of supports that Miniature Martin provided. Um, but, you know, being a novice, I, I've heard that um, oftentimes you, you probably do want to uh, support your own models if you can, although I'll always try the pre-supported version first if they offer it. Uh, but anyway, it's um, it's really cool. It um, it ran, I think, about five bucks. The carrier comes with a fighter squadron, so I guess I'll show you that um, after we look at both the, the carrier. So, and these are just a couple of, um, you know, these are all the same. I figured I needed a small fleet of carriers. If you're going to refight like space version of the Battle of Midway or, or whatnot. So this is a third one that's kind of in progress. I, uh, I think the, um, the little detailed bits are waiting to dry and be cured so that they can be glued on and attached. The next ship we've got is the, uh, what is this guy called? This is called the Hamelon. The Hamelon, sorry, is the name of the race. And this is the Sarah Lex class carrier, obviously an allusion to the Sarah and Lexington aircraft carriers of uh, World War II. It is um, a very much an homage to the top part, anyway, to the Comet Empire or uh, Gatlantis Empire carrier. Um, and the bottom is more kind of a Gamelon aesthetic, but not, not quite. Um, the bottom is a little bit more unique, uh, but for the carrier, it kind of sits perched on the top there, which was kind of cool. It has spots for turrets you can put in. I think you have an option of, of a double-barreled or single-barreled turrets uh, for these spots. But anyway, like the, um, like the Earth Defense Carriers, I guess, these ones I decided to print out a couple. And again, these were, um, you know, five bucks or four ninety-five. Um, and they came with uh, included fighter squadron. So let's pull those out and take a look at those next. Okay, and then uh, these are the uh, fighters. These are the Earth fighters. And they have uh, kind of a combination of Yamato and uh, Macross. I mean, they, they do seem a little Valkyrie-like. Uh, but they look really cool. And um, they come in a squadron of six like this. And then for the Hamelons, very clever uh, miniature Martin, by the way. Uh, I love it. I just love it. These guys are the Hamelon fighters, and they're very much in the vein of the Comet Empire Gatlantan um, scorpion fighters. I forget what they call them in the Japanese version. Um, but yeah, yeah, they, they look really cool. And, you know, since you are 3D printing these, you can build as many as you like. They only have one variation, so if I wanted to do like an attack, fi a fighter version and an attack version, I only have the one model, but uh, I could paint them different colors um, to denote like a fighter or torpedo bomber version, I guess. Or... Um, maybe that's something down the road that will be added to the line. Who knows? Uh, very cool. But, And I should say, too, that I, um, Miniature Martin does list these as, I think he calls it, Space Battleship Hatchiman, or Hatchiman, uh, as the, uh, the line. Currently, he has um, two of the... Ooh, let's zoom out. He has two ships in the... Hamelon line, a carrier and a battleship. And the Earth um, line is a little bit more fleshed out. There are uh, the carrier, I think there's a battleship, a cruiser, and now an escort or destroyer, I forget what they call. So kind of a more complete line. Uh, as far as the line goes, I would like to see the Hamelon fleet fleshed out with a cruiser and destroyer versions as well. Maybe uh, uh, alternate sculpt on the fighters so that we could get a fighter and a uh, bomber version um, and denote those which personally I think it would be cool. This is John from the future. I uh, just wanted to 
make an update to this video review. When I shot this video, it was uh, almost a month ago. It was right before I came down with a cold that uh, kind of snowballed into pneumonia. So uh, since I filmed the original review, um, I've done a little bit more, so I'm tacking this in uh, again from the future, spooky. So um, I've had some time to sit down and 3D print some more models. Um, I liked them so much that I ended up purchasing a couple more, the battleships for the two uh, races in particular, and uh, I, I really enjoyed them. I also emailed uh, Martin from Miniature Martin, and uh, you know I had some questions about the range that I thought I would share with you um, his answers. And uh, yes, obviously he was influenced by Space Battleship Yamato in uh, creating these. Um, he does plan on eventually expanding the range, um, which would be really awesome. Um, the uh, ships are, are really nice. They're, they're a good size. And let me just show you. So these are the two carriers I was showing off earlier and we'll get back to. Um, but I also built a, uh, this is a Gamelon or a Hamelon uh, battleship which does have some aspects of the um, Space Battleship Yamato's uh, Gamelons, but um, you know, in a lot of ways it's its own thing, but it's, it's a pretty cool looking ship. I do like the Hammerhead, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, then, and this one I, I haven't glued everything in, it still needs a little cleanup, but I wanted to kind of show it to you. Um, then I had, also bought the uh, battleship, the Earth battleship, which I think is the Athena class. And this is the Athena class. Uh, I've actually slapped some paint on this one to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, this is very similar to what Martin put has on his uh, page. And it's also very similar to what the uh, Space Battleship Yamato Earth Defense ships look like. I mean, gray with the, the yellow. Um, I just think that's a really cool aesthetic and captures Space Battleship Yamato really well. So these, um, you know, this is the battleship compared to the carrier. Um, the carrier is pretty big, but the battleship's got some girth to it. And here's the Hamelon battleship compared to the carrier, which is pretty cool. But overall, um, oops, see, it fell out. Overall, again, I like the range. And now um, let's get back to that review. All right, back to the assembly process. Um, you know, assembly wasn't bad. Um, some of it is just me and my cleanup ability. Um, for example, this part is a um, a separate piece, and it um, fits on. You got to clean it really well, and it kind of slots in there. Um, and I tried to avoid the gap. I think with super glue, we've we've managed to do that once it gets painted up. But um, you know, and then the bridge piece is separate, this fin on the bottom, the turrets are all separate. So, you know, for some people, they might consider that fiddly, but for me, it was just fine. I mean, you get that kind of stuff when you build Battlefleet Gothic ships and, and other, uh, you know, other spaceship games to drop Fleet Commander. Um, so overall, these, these ships are pretty easy to purchase, and I'm probably going to purchase a couple more even with the uh, issues that I had with the uh, supports which again is, is probably me um, but um, you know as I move through I'll update you on my experience uh, supporting them myself wasn't that big a deal um, I'd prefer the the pre-supported always worked all the time but I realize that's might be overly optimistic in this hobby space but um, yeah, overall, I mean, I think they look just awesome. So, I think on the channel I've talked about my Space Battleship Yamato obsession. So playing a fake Space Battleship Yamato with these types of miniatures would be good. 
All right, so let me just recap the uh, the line and the review. Um, overall, I am very uh, positive for the the uh, the line, space space battleship Hachiman. Um, I really like it, and I think it uh, really captures that anime space battleship vibe that you're going for. Uh, or if you're looking for that, then, you know, this line is pretty cool. Now, it's a, obviously, it's a starting line. It doesn't have everything in it yet. Uh, but, um, you know, Martin said that uh, he is planning on adding to the line, which would be really cool. And uh, it's a great way to get some anime-inspired spaceships, which is cool. I do plan on trying, and maybe I'll share this in a What's on the Table later, printing these at a little bit bigger scale, maybe 50% bigger than you see here. Um and check out uh, how that goes but otherwise i am very pleased i'm looking forward to building a like i said a tiny little fleet of these guys and getting them on the table some point soon i love i'm a sucker for spaceships and i'm a sucker for world war ii so world war ii in space you know sign me up all right guys there you go that's a look at uh the models by miniature martin uh for his space uh battleship hachiman line uh, thanks for watching. I do always appreciate it. If you want to see more of these 3D printing uh, overview and reviews, um, do let me know down in the comments below. I, I enjoy this, and if you guys do too, I definitely want to uh, keep doing them because, again, it is a lot of fun. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.